Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. You know, we have just two more days until Christmas, so we hope you're off to a great, great week. You know, all the stress of the holidays, we thought it might be good to really bring a doctor into the house. You know, we want your blood pressure to stay low. We're going to check your heart, all that good stuff. Actually, I'm not going to. My co-host today is a man who truly does it all. He is Dr. John Schufelt, and he is an ER doctor for St. Joe's. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas as well. You're a good Catholic boy. I am a good Catholic boy. Well, I'm not sure about it. Good, but I'm a Catholic boy. You're a Catholic boy. The and... nuns beat it out of me. <laughs> Oh, great. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, right. Sure. Mm -hmm. ER doctor for uh, St. Joseph's Hospital. Going to law school. I have a month off. You have a month off? Have a month off. How, how did so finals go? They were, they were entertaining. Wait, they, just a moment. They were, yeah, my, I'm still tachycardic. Uh -oh. No, no, no. It's okay. Relax. Breathe. <sighs> okay. No, through the back. Okay. Oh. Cough. <coughs> Cough. I'll my okay. chakra here soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that chakra. That's a oh. different chakra. Anyway, okay. No, not really. This thing is interesting. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah, in the old days, people, physicians would lay people, lay their head on people's chest, listen to their heart and their lungs, and they kind of got away from that. Yeah, that's probably a good thing Not in this day and age. Not a bad thing at all. Amen. Yeah, especially since you're going to be a lawyer, you know, all those lawsuits. You yeah, never know it, what can come up in the medical world. It just doesn't work world. anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. So you did okay on finals? I think so. Well, good. I Congratulations. Is it, this is your first semester first of law semester. school? First semester. Ah, so you've got a ways to go. Two and a half years, it provided I pass everything. Oh, my word. I, I, now, and you still want to do this? Yeah, you know, I really enjoyed it. It was fun. I'm kind of the old guy in the class, so there's people in there that were closer to my daughter's age than to my age, and so it was, uh, it was entertaining. <laughs> oh, and you're just starting. Uh, yeah. And I'm just starting. <laughs> oh, man. Unbelievable. Well, you know, you also cook. This guy also cooks. I can't believe it. You know what? You need an arts and crafts project. I have a short attention span. Well, I can understand that. But you know what? <laughs> that whole afghan you knitted with the little, you know, pom-poms at the end, I thought was lovely. In between your lawyering and doctoring. Yeah, it fits nice on the couch. Yeah, it does. I love your color palette. Anyway, on today's show, uh, the doctor is, you're going to be doing some stuff about doctoring. Right. Uh, Christmas emergencies, holiday emergencies. Mm -hmm. What to stay away from over the holidays. Okay. <laughs> that includes my food. Oh, just kidding. But we are going to be cooking tamales because, you know, tamales and Christmas in the Southwest kind of goes hand in hand. I think I'm having them tomorrow night, actually. I, I am, too. I'm, I'm having a big Mexican fiesta for really? Christmas Eve. Yes, I do. I love we do tamales. black beans, tamales. Anyway, we are going to tell how those of you who are new to the Valley might be asking, huh, how to make them. We've got folks from Macayos. Perfect. Great We've restaurant. got the big margarita things. Look at this. He's making the tamales. Que rico, suave. Yeah. Okay. And, and we'll have some uh, margaritas and a couple chips and salsa, right? Sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You can say hi, Merry Christmas. Oh, hi, Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. We will be doing that in uh, just a moment. Also, I am so excited for this segment. Now, now you're an ER doctor, but I, am. I, I was asking you about chakras. Do you, do you know or do you believe in chakras? Well, when we, if they're in V Feb, then we shock them. Is that about no, as much chakra no, as no, I no, know? No, 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 not, no, that, no, not that kind of thing. Okay. It's chakra. It's your energy. And it's the aligning. I think there are seven points, your chakras of your body, starting from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. So we are going to meet a designer. You might be asking, and what is the purpose of the scarf? Go ahead, John, ask. Why do you have that scarf on? Because it's a chakra scarf. Excellent. It's a, she's a designer who makes scarves that correspond to your energy center in the body. And so, you know, this is going to be really good. Beautiful colors, and it'll tell you a little bit about yourself. Excellent. I, I, you look a, so lost. It, it's a sphere that I have no knowledge of. I think I have chakra envy. Well, you know what? <laughs> we are going to take you out of your ER room, and we are going to put you into the sphere of chakra. Excellent. And healing, because if you breathe it in a line, that's just as good as a fibrillator and a couple of aspirin, you know? And a margarita. And a margarita. Well, we're Don't there. Don't forget the tamale. Also joining us now, as he does every Tuesday, is stylist Robert Quinn. He has our Tuesday makeover. Good morning, Robert, and happy holidays to you, my Happy dear. holidays, uh, Heidi. Uh, you know, somebody asked me, um, what do we do with this time of the year in Ireland? And, um, you know, I, I can't remember. <laughs> I think that's the reason. That's what we do. You know, we, there's a lot of partying going on in Ireland at the time of the year. Ah. We're, we're like, everything closes for about a week or ten days, and it's just a big old party over there. So that's the tradition of the Irish spirit. But we have a, a great that's makeover. That's beautiful, Robert. That's just beautiful. That, Hey, I feel you know, tears welling up in my eyes. I, <laughs> it's a very touching kind of thing, isn't it? <laughs> we, um, we have a wonderful makeover today. Uh, Crystal, is, who wants to uh, actually follow you in your footsteps, uh, John, in the medical profession, we want to make a complete change for her and get her into a, uh, something a little bit more conservative but yet have some fun with her hair. So we're going to change her. We've changed her hair color. We're going to be changing the haircut. And hopefully, hopefully, all will be well. So hopefully uh, she'll be a cute, uh, you know, doctor nurse, That's you know. Right. 
not not that other kind of image. So do you have any words like of advice? A conservative fun doctor. I think that's what the world needs more of. Absolutely. Yes. Uh huh. With bedside manners. I that's bet you have a bedside saying. manner. I do have a bedside manner. Yeah, even though you're in ER, sometimes I would imagine it gets a little tense. I always had this problem where people were hurt. I would always say if they had a, like a hurt shoulder, I'd say, hey, how you doing? They'd be like, oh, my shoulder. That hurt me. It, it would never fail. I had, my hand was like a divining That's rod. That's called a klutzy bedside Oh, my God. <laughs> divining like, rod. I haven't what? heard that since my grandfather's prospecting days. <laughs> Way back. <laughs> Way back when. Yeah, anyway. So, okay, medical stuff coming up. Also, here we've got the author of Write and Publish Your Life Story, Betty Lou Tobin. She's going to teach us how to, yes, write our own life story. Perfect. Well, you could have five volumes already. Maybe very short volumes. Yeah, maybe a little light. Big, big type. Ah, okay. The kind with those glasses. And if you're still thinking of the perfect Christmas gift or how to spend New Year's in style, how about renting a limo or exotic car? We're going cruising later, Doctor. That's what I heard. Oh, yeah. If I, I can get the fit limo. In that car, I'm taking it. Well, you have to fold yourself in half like a lawn chair. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. No anyway, we're going to check out the fancy cars a little later on, live on the show. But up next, get ready. We're making holiday tamales with Macayos. Feliz Navidad. Gracias. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, forget the holiday ham. If you live in the valley, you know it's time you jumped on the tamale bandwagon and embrace a long-standing holiday tradition. I've got, of course, Dr. John Schufelt, my co-host today, and Reed Johnson, who has quite a bit of history. He's from Macayo's Mexican Restaurants. How are you doing? Great. Happy holidays. Well, thank you very much. Happy holidays to you, too. It's wow. all in the family. Yes. Oh, definitely. Uh, actually, we've been doing tamales for over 55 years now, and uh, uh, been trying to... You know, try to get them out and I don't know just uh, spread them out to everybody uh, it's been a great holiday tradition for us mm -hmm. something that we've done for, uh, that we continue to do each and every Christmas uh, we have different tamales this year we have a, a uh, a pumpkin tamale, which is our a specialty. pumpkin tamale? Yes. It's wow. A, well, it's a different variation. Uh, there are so many different variations you can do with tamales nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, pumpkin tamale, we have our traditional green corn tamale with uh, with uh, cheddar cheese and, and, uh, and uh, chilies. Actually, these Anaheim chilies are actually grown on our yeah. uh, farm down in uh, McNeil, Arizona. So you guys uh, have, McCow's has their own farm? Uh, yes. Now your grandfather, did he start the farm also? Sure did. Did he really? Absolutely. 58 years ago? 50, well, he, no, the farm hasn't been around that long, but it's been long, a, a while at least. Wow. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and have you guys uh, go ahead and pick up. Uh, but by the way, it, the doctor's a better cook, you know. Oh. He, he can deal oh, no, with I, blood, I, I, patients, I can, I can read directions all at the same time. Okay, Reed, what well, do we anyway, do here? Okay, yeah. what we're going to start off with is uh, we're going to start off with a corn husk, which is, uh, it's been uh, 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 dipped in water, so it's a little bit softer. And then we have our corn masa, which is mixed in with uh, uh, the corn, uh, and then some... Uh, you can use lard, you can use uh, canola, you right. can use, use different things. Uh, now, Reed, it's use... all also in how you spread the masa. Oh, That's, it's, it's my sister and spread. her family makes tamales every year. That's a tradition, so it's like how you spread it. Don't get it too thick, don't get it too thin. No, just uh, what you want, basically keep it on the bottom part because the top here we're going to use the fold over. Ah, okay. Oh, good. I'm I messed that up, up already. No, okay. <laughs> I'm doing like a mushu. <laughs> Look at that. You went all the way to the tip. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a little bit of uh, the green chili. Uh, just just okay. lay it right in the middle. Would you like a green chili, Please. Dr. Juan? Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, get it, Dr. Juan? Juan. <laughs> Dr. Juan, quieres un chili, gracias. However much you like. Okay. And then, uh, then uh, che cheddar cheese, or you can use oh, whatever type of cheese you, you, you like. First, oh, thank here. you. You, you know, I, I can't use a fork, I'm sorry. Okay, my hands are clean. Hand. I washed them once yesterday. <laughs> well, we we hope so. And how many shifts did he are? Uh, long? <laughs> two, two shifts, but it's okay. And then what you do is you fold over the sides. <laughs> so fold it to the middle? Uh, fold, fold it all in the middle. Okay. And then... That's then, it? Well, yeah, that's it. That's it. Fold it to the sides and then and then pull the top over like that. See, this is that paper airplane oh, concept. Oh, I went the wrong yeah, so way. Okay. So, okay. So, so then just fold just over. Just, fold? Uh, just suture it. Okay. There you go. Oh, well, either way. It. All right. Can't necessarily really? say they're the prettiest, but we do them much better at Makaya. Hey, hey, Good hey. job. No, you're, you're better at pasta, like but a, you have potential. Like I know it is. It's kind of tough. Okay. Right, well, how, how do you cook them? You know something. You cook them. You can. There's different ways to cook them. We actually steam them. We start. We start by steaming them for uh, 45 minutes. Here's another uh, one. Oh, thanks. And that gets the, the good consistency. It cooks mm -hmm. up the masa. Gets a really good. Uh, 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 the texture. Not te yes, good That's texture and consistency to it. Uh, there's different sauces you can use on top of them. Uh, we have uh, the green corn tamale, which uh, we I have love with, the green corn tamale. With Baja that is, sauce. That is my have you had it with favorite. Baja sauce? Oh, I've had it all. The yeah, Baja sauce delish. is our cream cheese jalapeno sauce, and it's actually really, really good with our green corn tamale. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you don't put it in, right? You just you use it afterwards. Oh, 
No, on the Baja sauce? Yeah. Yeah, so go, we spread it out on top, and oh, okay. it's one of our most popular uh, dishes at Macayo's uh, for tomorrow. Right. Okay, now, Reed, I, I, I'd like to pose a challenge to you. Are you uh -oh. up for a challenge today? I'm, I know you're I'm busy with the holidays. Challenges. Can we handle this? I want you to take that husk. You make us a darn fine tamale okay. in 20 seconds or less. Ladies and gentlemen, seconds. the professional right here, because this guy's a little slow, Dr. John. I'm worse. Look at him go. Now, see, you awesome. use a lot more masa. See, you did you like. You told me to spread it thin. I know, oh, but I. Reed, you look at me. this. Well, see, you're putting up. I we saved the best. We, we saved the best for last. Oh, all right. Look at this. Ten seconds and counting. That's and nine, eight, seven, six. It's the loop. Wow. Loop. That's a Woo. great. Uh, all you, right. You, you definitely won the masa. See, look at how the nice yours challenge. look. Yeah. No mas. No masa. Look at who. Uh, did I do that? That one? was yours. <laughs> that was kind of a. That's a little bit of a, oh, wait that's a, a minute weak there. one. Miss, uh, there we miss go. Miss out these for Christmas Eve. <laughs> well, I didn't make them. <laughs> I'm just steaming them. All righty now, there you go. And, and all these different flavors? You, these are different flavors. They're all available at any one of the Macayos throughout mm -hmm. the valley. Uh, you can pick them up, uh, call up, pick them up. Uh, so you can order like a dozen to go? Yeah, absolutely. You can get them frozen. You can get them already cooked. You can get them with whatever sauces you like. Wow. We have tamale sauce. We have Baja sauce. Okay. Uh, you get that's the, mine. The, Pumpkin pumpkin one pumpkin, is, it, is it pumpkin masa? It's you, actually, no, it's actually a regular white corn uh, masa with uh, some cinnamon and nutmeg in it, yeah. and then the pumpkin spread inside. So. Well, I don't want to pick with my fingers and be yep. rude, but how that is how you eat a tamale. You, mean, you can pick it. Try the pumpkin. Come on, be bold, be brave, I'm be bold. daring. See, pumpkin, isn't that precious? I need some whipped cream. <laughs> yeah, actually, isn't that it's, good? It is, really good. it's actually served with a cream cheese uh, oh, the sauce on, on top oh. of it at the oh. restaurants. So this is all wonderful. Good. By the way, we do have the recipe on our website if you'd like to check it out. Tamales and from Macayos. Also, you can just go to Macayos and. Any one of them in the valley. There's See, I like the, the takeout wow. concept. Uh, yeah. Great. Pretend you did it all the work. Very That's easy great. that way. Yes, okay. Thank you very yeah, much, no Reed, problem. for dressing. And Appreciate happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you for you me. Oh. Okay. Little dancing, okay. Little little crazy. Okay, guys, <laughs> never mind losing it today. One more day. You hold that. <laughs> Some great holiday gift ideas. Learning how to make a scarf, but these are not ordinary scarves. These are actually ones based on your body's energy. They are called the chakras, the chakra system. And I guess your astrological sign, too. So uh, joining us right now is uh, Zohar, and we thank you for being with us. Happy holidays to you. Thank you. These Happy scarves holidays. are gorgeous. And, of course, uh, Dr. John here. You don't wear scarves, except for when you're on your cruise ship. Right, right, when I have the fedora and the, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But this is kind of cool stuff because you do this based on your astrological sign and your... Uh, chakras. Hey, will you explain chakras yes. to everybody, um, especially Dr. John? He I'm doesn't know about I'm chakra them. ignorant. <laughs> we have seven, uh, at least seven energy centers in our, in our bodies that each one is incorporated for a different energy. Mm -hmm. We have the base chakra, which is grounding, it's the body. Then we have the second chakra, which, and it's red, sorry. The and red, then we okay. have the orange chakra, which is more sexuality and sensuality, and it's about fun. And I then like we orange. Are we on orange alert right now? Hey, no, it's not a fun time. I've never yes. worn orange. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the, the yellow, which is the will and the power. It's like Oh, you've got fire. will and power. I bet you're super yellow. You've got lots of yellow. More will and grace than will and power. Okay. And then we have the green, which is the heart and the love and the compassion. And then we have the blue, which is communication. Oh, I blabber. That's me. I'm blue all the way. And creativity. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, blue. There blue. You go. Yeah, that's me. And then we have the uh, third eye chakra, which is intuition. Well, and what color is that? The crown, it's indigo. Indigo, that's so, it. And then the crown chakra is purple. purple. Right. It's uh, knowing and understanding. So, so um, since, uh, let's go over here and show you the different. Yes, let's look at these I scarves. was making scarves for many, many years, and I realized when I worked with it that the, the colors were actually affecting me. Mm hmm because when I made a lot of yellow ones, I was affected in a certain way. Then I made a lot of red ones, I was affected in a, certain, in a different way. So I, I just got into it. I started, I started it. Mm -hmm. And I realized that um, since colors are energies, we're really affected by different energies in different way. So I realized we can actually use it. Right, right? and Very create cool. beautiful uh, scarves and designs and create something lovely to wear as yeah. well. So you do multiple colors, so obviously yeah. you're using lots of chakras so there. So I want to show you something. I want to show okay. you something, a little experiment. 